Hey guys, it's Bree, and welcome to my channel, Just Breezy. I have a question for you. Have you ever gone throughout the day fantasizing what it might be like to say whatever was on your mind without any fear of consequence or hurting somebody's feelings? I mean, we all have those people in our lives, I'm sure, but most of us put up a filter when we're talking to others. And well, it had me thinking, what would I say if that filter didn't exist? Hey Maggie, how are you? Oh, you know, I'm not feeling that great, so I was actually just sitting enjoying a book and I am instantly regretting picking up the phone. Yeah, no, I'm serious because you're that person that keeps me on for much longer than needed talking about things that I don't really care about. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, come here, sweetie, come here, listen. I know, I know that you love to tell me about Roblox every single day, but I have to be honest, these conversations are painful. Yep, they're torturous. And to be quite honest with you, I don't actually care. I don't care about your legendary, rare, ultra neon unicorn that hatched from the golden egg that you traded with Sophia for three otters that you've been working for a month to gain with all those Roblox gift cards that people waste their money getting for you. I don't care, but I'm gonna pretend I do because I know it's important for you to grow up being a confident young woman and knowing you could tell your mommy anything. Are you, are you kidding me? Do you not see this sign? It says no soliciting and that's what you're doing. This sign is for you not to be here. Last time one of your buddies was here, you're telling me how you made a consultation with the Millers down the block. There are no Millers, I'm on to you. I know what you're doing. You're casing out this house to see when I'm home, when my husband isn't home. Do I have kids? Do I have a dog? Do you see this guy here? He's ferocious. So you can go tell your ringleader of the window warriors that you better not come around these parts tonight trying to chop me up into little pieces because this guy will rip your face off. Okay, let's just read this through. Hey Nate, we will not be coming to your barbecue this year because, well, quite frankly, you are a sloppy drunk. And if I have to listen to your condescending remarks towards your wife and women in general, just one more time, I'm gonna scream. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, pretty accurate. Send. Okay, honey, just say where mom can see you. Oh. Hello, uh, not sure if you know, you're about six feet too close and there's still a pandemic going on. So back the f up, get your mask on and tell your kids to stop licking the railing. <sighs> Jon Snow, I would climb that wall for you any night of the week. Babe, what the heck? What? It's Jon Snow. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video and in keeping with the theme of speaking what's on my mind, I want you to become a subscriber. So if you're not already, and if you wouldn't mind, just push that bell for notifications and, and give it a like and a comment and a share and all that good stuff, because it helps. All right, guys, as always, thanks so much for the support, and we shall chat again soon.